The future of cryptocurrency is now. Hello, I'm Paul Stryer with BitcoinBeginners.rocks. In today's video, we are going to create a bootable USB drive with the ETHOS installed as our operating system and mining software. In this video, we will talk about why you should use ETHOS versus installing your own operating system, GPU drivers, and mining software. We will also talk about where to buy ETHOS and how to create a bootable ETHOS USB drive and finally, how to boot the USB drive with ETHOS on it. So let's talk a minute about why you should use ETHOS versus other operating systems. ETHOS is a 64-bit Ubuntu Linux OS that has been optimized to mine cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum, Zcash, Monero, and other GPU mineable coins. When I started mining, I did a ton of research and kept being led back to ETHOS. So I tried it and I never looked back. It makes things very simple because all the mining software and the drivers for AMD and NVIDIA cards are included and ready to mine when you boot it. If I did not use ETHOS, I would have to install a version of Linux, go to the GPU manufacturer's website and download the drivers, and install them on my version of Linux. Once I did that, I'd have to go and choose and download and install my desired mining software for the coin I want to mine. But with ETHOS, everything is included. Download, create a bootable drive, boot ETHOS, configure the local.conf, and BAM! You're mining. Now let's look at where you can get ETHOS and how much it costs. So to buy ETHOS, you have to go to www.gpushack.com. Once you get there, all you have to do is on the first home screen, scroll down just a little bit as you see here, and you can see that we have the ETHOS digital download. Now you can buy it already on a USB drive and they'll send it to you in the mail. And they have other products you can buy as well. They also have uh, mining rigs that you can buy and other items that you can buy. But for right now, we're looking for the ETHOS distro. So we'll come down here to ETHOS digital download and click on it. Once we get here, all you have to do is add this to your cart and pay $39. Now I've already done this because I've already purchased it one each for each one of my mining rigs. And again, the license is $139 download per mining rig that you actually uh, are going to be running. So now that you've downloaded the ethos.iso file, we now have to create a bootable drive with ethos on it. I tend to use USB thumb drives to boot my rigs to help keep the cost down. There's no reason to install a hard drive on a mining rig since it just needs to boot ethos and it does not use the hard drive for operations. So I just bought 10 16 gigabyte USB drives from Amazon at some ridiculously low price and now I have enough USB drives to run my 10 mining machines. So I found this really good piece of software. It's a software utility called Rufus. It's on the internet and it's an open source software that creates bootable drives from ISO files. And the best part is it's free. And the license allows me to distribute it from my website. So I put a copy at my website so it will always be there for us. So to start, let's open a browser and let's go to bit.ly bit.ly forward slash bcbrufus you can see that on the screen here and that'll take you to bitcoinbeginner.rocks and to the exact download page for rufus now it looks something like this when you get there and if you scroll down you'll see that there is a free purchase button so just click on the free purchase button and then click checkout and if you put in your information so if you put in uh, your information and not my information and say free download it'll come to this page right here and when you scroll down you'll see the download right here so you download that and just click on it there is no install for rufus you just open it so i'm going to go ahead and click on rufus right now 
and it, the security says, uh, um, do you really want to do this in Windows? And I'll say yes, and it opens up. So now, this is Rufus right here. It has found a 32 gigabyte uh, drive, USB drive, on my uh, um, computer. And I'm going to make it FAT32. You want it to be FAT32 for this. And I'm going to come down here. I want a quick format. So we'll check quick format, which is the default. And then we'll say create a bootable disk. So at this point, I have to click on this little uh, button here. And I want ETH distro. So you can see I'm already in that folder. So I'm going to go to 127, which is the latest version of ETH OS. And I'm going to click on it. And then I say open. And now it says that uh, there's an image there and we're going to create a bootable disk. So I'll hit start and this only takes a couple of, uh, couple of minutes. It also warns me. It says, uh, do you really want to do this because I'm going to destroy this uh, data that's in, or I'm going to destroy any data that's on this drive. So here it goes. It's uh, creating a bootable ETH OS USB drive. So at this point, I will stop the video and restart it once this is done. It takes about maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Rufus has now created our EthOS bootable USB drive. Now I said it would take about 30 seconds to a minute. It actually is more like 10 minutes. Um, don't know what I was thinking, but yes, it would take about 10 minutes. So now we have a bootable drive. So now at this point, um, you take the USB drive, plug it into your rig, and turn it on, and it should boot to uh, ETHOS. And you should be able to do this on really any computer, and it will boot to ETHOS. Of course, you want to plug it into the one that has your GPUs on it. And if you come back to uh, other videos that I've done on my website, you will see how to actually build a 12 GPU rig. At this point, we've created our ETHOS bootable USB drive. I've plugged it into one of my mining rigs, and I'm going to boot it right now just to give you an idea of what a ETHOS boot looks like. Since the boot time of ETHOS is about five minutes from the time you flip the switch until you get a full set of hashing, I'm going to splice out chunks of this five minute video just to show you the highlights. As you can see right now, my system has boot up and the BIOS sees 11 GPUs, which is how many I have on this one. My 12th GPU, I've moved to a, another mining rig and I'll be bringing it back soon. But as you can see, I have 11. Right here, you can see that my network time protocol server is now starting and connecting to the internet to set the time of my mining rig. Now, the main ethos console has now appeared and you can see on the right side I have a terminal window and on the left side you can see some information about my rig like how much uptime we have. You can also see how much RAM is available and how much is being used. We can also see the CPU utilization of 64.5%. We can see that the temperature of the CPU is sitting at about 62 degrees Celsius. And then you can see my 11 GPUs on the far left hand side. You can see the, each temperature of each GPU and you can see the fan speed. But you can also see the hashing speed and that's really what we want to see here. And as we go along you can see it started at the top and it's working its way down to the bottom. Eventually it should be somewhere around 30 on each one of these all the way down. About 30.5 to 30.9 um, should give us about 340 hash total for these 11 GPUs. Jumping ahead here a little bit you can see that most of them are now hashing at about 30 mega hashes per GPU and now you can see that they're all coming up to speed now. We now have a speed of 322 and eventually in the next couple of seconds it should head up to about 340. Thank you for watching these videos and reading our blogs and thank you for using bitcoinbeginner.rocks. This is Paul Stryer. Good day.